Quite degrading. Pull it on the V block here. You adjust until you touch this point here, the, the edge here, okay? Alright. Bring up the high gauge slowly and then touch here. Thread, lock it and then cut across one line. So this is 45 degrees. Okay, later I'll show you how to clamp. The other piece also same thing, you mark out on this side. Make sure you mark out on the correct side. This is 50.8. Uh. This one, this surface you must mark out here. Uh. Alright. Here, the other piece is uh, this block here. 99.5 uh, the thickness. The angle is 8 times 45 degrees. Alright, 8 times 45, that means you have to make, mark out a line 9, 1.5 first from the base. Alright, 1.5 mm up first. Alright. Lock it. Cut across. So you see, uh, there's 1.5 mm. You place on the V block, same thing. Adjust until you touch the line there, the mark the point there, then you cut across. Alright. So you adjust here. Until you reach the marking point there. The 1.5 mm the mark there. Okay, lock it. Then you cut across here, alright? Down here, these two, alright? The flat surface here in the center. Then use a parallel bar to set until it's parallel to the marking line. Okay, see here? Alright, the marking line here, parallel to here, alright, to the parallel bar. After that, you tighten the job, then you take out the parallel bar and you mill flat across. So you lower down the table, lower down, bring it to the center here. Start from the top, touch first. Okay, then after that, touch ready. Bring out. Here you set to zero on the sleeve, the vertical feet. Then you increase one mm each cut. Slowly cut across. Another one mm, up. for the job to travel out from the cutting tool first then you increase okay another one I made
Oke, okay, cut story Nanti touch the marking lah A bit more. Another point three more, all right? Okay, finish. Stop. So once you're touching the marking line, you stop. All right. Take out and then do the deburring. Deburr the sharp edges. So you have a small land here, 1.5 mm land in front here. All right. We want to cut this angle here, 45 degrees. This one also 45 degrees. But there's a different in dimension. Uh. The first angle here, the front here will be the 8 times 45 degrees. Okay. The other one is 10 times 45 degrees. So you need to do, mark out the two dimensions first before you cut the angle. Okay. Set 8 mm. Alright, now you should know to set the vernier right. 8 mm is for the front angle over here mark out 8 here one line alright then mark out put it flat this way mark out 8 mm here get okay, one line so this one and this one equal the other one is 10 mm here mark out 10 mm place here how to mark out this 10 mm? Place it flat. Alright, then from here you cut across like this. So you got 10 by 10. Okay? How to get a 45 degrees? You can use one. The, what do you call this? Yes? Rope. Uh, protector. Uh, set 45 degrees. Lock it. In line with this marking here. Don't mistake uh, this one marking here in line with the 45 degrees. Uh. Not at the edge here. At the edge is wrong. Uh. Some thought it's at the edge. Uh. There's a marking here in line with the 45 degrees. Lock it. Place. Drop this way and then join the two lines here. 45 degrees. Alright, join it. So you got one angle here. The other one, same thing. 45 degrees here. Okay, make sure you see properly uh, here flat. Uh. So, this is 8 mm. 45 degrees. This one is 10 mm, 45 degrees. Clear? So your line parallel to the line. So this one the chip I clean away first. Clean for piece. You clamp the whole piece, clamp on the flat surface. Uh. Alright? Clamp this way. This surface here, before you tighten, use the parallel bar. Put here on top, clean properly as a guide. Set, huh? Parallel. Can you see here the marking line here? Okay, come over here. Can you see the marking line below here? The parallel to the parallel bar here? No. This point and this point, parallel, alright? Okay, so you only set one time only. Why? Because this angle and this angle is the same, right? 45, right? So you set this one below one parallel enough already. One time will do. After that, tighten the job. So tighten the job already. 
Take out the pedal bar. Then what you do? Yes. What's the next step you do? Lower down. Table lower down. Cut this angle first, the top one first. Normally I will start to cut this one first, I eat and mend this angle first. Alright, cut here first. On the machine, touch the top. Alright, slowly touch the top. Okay, once it touches the top, stop. Set here to zero. This is to determine the depth of cut. Cut one mm, ring out. Three mm across. Another one mm. Okay, another one mm. Okay, where do you stop? Stop at where? For the line. Ah, until you touch the line, marking line, exactly touching the marking line. This one is not critical because it's just to form the shape. Alright, so it touches the line, you stop. Alright, another one, I mean. So we cut it off. Okay, a little bit more, about point three more. So once it touches the line, you stop. Don't take out the job, huh? This is the job there. Move to the other side. Now we cut this angle, this angle here. Move over here. Same thing. Move up. Touch the top. After you touch it, again set to zero. Clear? Then move up one mm again. Cut across. One more mm. Three mm. Four. Alright. Finish. So once it touches the line, alright. The marking line you stop. Yes. Then finish already you go take out. 